fans, they obviously have more passion than a lot of cities uh, in this league, and uh, they care. Um, you know, they've they've seen a lot of teams win in the past. They know what it means to, to be a Montreal Canadian. You know, and I honestly don't think it's um, it's obviously frustration on their part for a lack of wins. But I, I don't think they can say we're not competing hard or we're not battling. I think the work ethic's been there. It's you know a little difference between winning and losing, and that's you know in this locker room we understand what it is. And, you know, we're going to be able to fix it. It's it's definitely a fixable thing. Um, it's just going out there and getting the job done. I think Bryce said yes, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen in the past. The fans are passionate. They have their own opinion. But um, at the end of the day, there wasn't 20,000 people. There was a couple angry fans. Anybody who knows the game, anybody who watches the game and doesn't let the frustration take over that they're realistic, uh, I guess part of the game knows that we're, we're not playing bad hockey. And yesterday, uh, we were the better team. Okay, the, the score doesn't indicate that. But, you know, when, when we look at the scoring chances and, and the quality scoring chances that we had and, and the fact that we have no goals, it's certainly not something that looks positive. But we got to work through that. And, you know, as frustrated as everybody is, our fans, uh, even us as coaches, players, you know, it's frustrating to lose. Uh, the, the answer belongs to us. And, and it's in that dressing room, but it's also, you know, the dressing room includes the coaching staff and everybody else. And we really feel that, uh, you know, we're close to turning this around. And we, we just can't throw in the towel, simple as that. We got to work our way out of it.